balloons carrying the moon boys up into the sky, Bitcoin is right now on the verge of going up harder and stronger than an American's debt after receiving a healthcare bill for a tiny boo-boo, a tiny scratch, and receiving a single band-aid. But what if I told you that the big bust hasn't even begun? So if you understand that Bitcoin is about to bust bigger, harder, and stronger than quite literally anything we've ever seen, <laughs> hit that like, hit that subscribe, get signed up to Femex below if you wanna buy Bitcoin or altcoins and receive a free trading bonus. And without any further ado, let's completely and absolutely dump into Bitcoin where we see this weekly chart for Bitcoin doing something that I would consider and many would call as well quite large where we just got our weekly close hours ago. And as you can see, we went from about sixty five, sixty six thousand dollars all the way down to about 60 where we bounced and we ended up getting this weekly close just hours ago at about sixty three thousand US dollars right here. Also, more importantly, however, right on top of the 21 week moving average. And what we also see is that uh, the stock market so far, as we open today, it's kind of uh, moved around a little bit, but ultimately it is within, let's take a look, within still a percent of record highs, a percent of new all-time highs. Uh, but Bitcoin specifically is very close, right, to breaking this, this downward level, this downward sloping resistance. On the daily chart, we're right literally at it. This is such a big moment again, because we broke above it the last week of September. We fell below it uh, the, the final day, the final few days of September, beginning of October, and now we've come back up to it. So this is a very important uh, point to get an actual bounce. This is the 200 day moving average, this white line. We also see that if we look at the daily chart, I mean, we're, we're slowly coming right back up to that previous lower high, which is right around 65,000 US dollars. So it's really a big moment. Will Bitcoin get rejected here? Specifically, I'm talking about this price right here. Will it get rejected here or will it uh, find support and end up breaking significantly above it? Uh, we take a look. I mean, you see that we're above the 21 day moving average. We're above the 50 day moving average, both of which we came down to over the last uh, two weeks or so more specifically like the last week and a half. But again, we're right now exactly at this white line, which is the 100 or sorry, the 200 day moving average. It's very big. Uh, you can see on the weekly chart after getting this nice weekly close, we're still incredibly close to, I mean, we're right there. It will not take much more to finally see this MACD confirm this, this switch to bullish momentum, just like we saw in October. Okay, the last time we saw anything like this was back in October when Bitcoin was 26, actually at the lows, it was about 24,000 US dollars. And the subsequent weeks after that, weeks and months, it ran all the way up to the new all time highs around 74,000 US dollars. The last time we got this signal in the MACD, the RSI has already given us that signal. The RSI already you know, broke this downtrend about a week and a half or two weeks ago. The MACD has not yet, but it's so close. It could easily happen just like that. It could happen by the time this video gets uploaded. It could happen so easily this week. Quite literally, a few percent pump for Bitcoin is all it would take. We're talking about a few percent here. Right now, I mean, what? We're at about 63. I mean, we go up. Let's do like 5%, and that's that's actually like even way more than's needed. That would put Bitcoin above 67,000 US dollars. It would... Um, I mean, it would just be breaking all of the, the structure we need to actually confirm more of a more of a breakout, especially we'd be putting in a high above this high that we set back on the 27th, Friday, September 27th. So uh, ultimately, yeah, watching the stock market is very big. We look uh, this chart here, the daily again, you can see we, the RSI and MACD both. MACD specifically also on the daily looks as though it wants to follow through and, and, and start to get bullish here, but also again, I think the most important thing is the weekly where we've already gotten this RSI breakout. The MACD is, is just so close. It's right there. The entire crypto market cap as well, uh, holding on its 21 day moving average. All it takes is, I mean, this, these are those moments where like, if, if, if you would go back and, and look at this chart, let's say back, I don't know, maybe in the middle of this dump in August or even the, the very beginning of September, about exactly a month ago, a couple percent pump wouldn't have done much. I mean, we did get massive pumps, but like we got a 15% pump 
and it, it wasn't significant in the context of like breaking out of this pattern. It was just significant because we needed it before before confirming more of a bigger breakdown. Now we're quite literally at that point where if we just get a 3% pump, 5% pump, it's putting us into territory that again, just further confirms actually this is a breakout and it can easily just snowball and um, accelerate extremely fast. This is a setup. Uh, it, it's the, the thing with these setups as well is that a lot of people are aware of them. So usually, I mean, in, very likely these setups end up playing out, especially in this context. However, also what happens is a lot of the time before the, the setup truly does what it ends up doing, which is initiating a massive breakout, there are often a lot of fake outs and a lot of traps in very short time periods. Meaning like, let's say a week from now, Bitcoin is actually breaking out. It goes above 70 and even 75,000. But you know, the five or six, seven days before that actually happens, we get three or four fake outs all within just a couple of days. And people end up not catching like a really good long position or something because they have really, really tight stops or they they just, you know, they get faked out and they're like, you know what, I'm tired of, of trying to trade this. And they, I don't know, maybe they put on way too much leverage and, and it only takes like a 3%, 1% or 2% swing to, to, to get liquidated. Anyway, the point is that's very normal within these, these uh, real breakouts as well, is that right before you get them, you will get the little shakeouts that um, unfortunately make people miss the big pump, even though they are correct in the idea and in the, in the big pump actually does end up happening. But very often, a lot of people won't actually even benefit that much from it, at least in a short term trade, because they get shaken out with all the little all the little choppiness and fake out right before it happens. All I'm saying is you want to try your best to avoid something like that, because again, this is like a primo setup. It's basically one of the most beautiful, most clean, uh, best risk to reward setups that you see, in my opinion, in these markets in years. I mean, these are the type of setups you look for and you may only get once every year, once every two, three years. Uh, so it's a really good opportunity. The last time we had a setup like this, as I just showed, was basically um, actually yeah, on a weekly chart, basically back in uh, about exactly a year ago in October of 2023 where Bitcoin got out of this summer chop, which we're in right now, basically. I mean, the summer chop is, in my opinion, about to end. But we had the same thing back here from uh, March to October. And then in October, it started lifting off. And this is the most vertical point of Bitcoin. And altcoins did really well as well. This is the most vertical thing Bitcoin did in the past like three years. I mean, going all the way back really to the bull run of 2021, at the very beginning of 2021 this was like the biggest single pump we saw but what was right before that so much sideways what was right after that so much sideways okay so pretty much from i mean february the beginning of 2023 to now which is basically almost two entire years of trading that entire all of the goodness all of the actual really profitable and insanely vertical movement happened between the beginning of october to about March. So only about a five month window is where like all of those giga gains were. And what if I told you that it's very likely what we're about to see is that another, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be exactly five months, but let's just say that it would be roughly around five months. And it puts us to about, again, sim something similar to maybe even March of 2025. We see something similar to this. Maybe Bitcoin runs up to $145,000 dollars per Bitcoin. Maybe these altcoins finally actually start putting on value instead of just, you know, pumping and immediately dumping back to what they were and even a little bit lower the week after you get a big pump, right? Because altcoins have just been so choppy the last six, seven, eight months. Uh, and so is Bitcoin. I mean, look at Bitcoin shards, but it's just been so choppy. But the point is, I mean, we're, we're so close. We're not there yet. We don't have the full confirmation yet. But basically, you have some confirmations. And you have a lot of evidence, um, again, not even just technically, not even just on the charts, but even with the actual macroeconomic conditions that it's like, I don't know, if you're not salivating at this opportunity, if you're not positioned and prepared accordingly to benefit from this, I mean, it's just one of those things you really don't want to miss. And get signed up to Femex below if you want to buy Bitcoin or altcoins or trade and also receive a massive free trading bonus. Thank you for the meeting.